Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do quite a f nice, light, fun springtime look. Nothing as drastic as the last one, it's intense, but still quite nice and light and fun. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all safe and your loved ones. Um, it's a very tricky time at the moment. And I hope you're all safe, doing the best that we... I think we're all doing the best that we can given the circumstances and hopefully there will be some kind of light at the end of this tunnel. Um, but I thought in the meantime I'll still continue to do videos and things like that because a lot of people are in isolation. And it may just be a slight distraction from what's going on in the world because obviously the news is very much full on with the situation. Which is important to be aware of and to kind of stay up to date with everything. But at the same time I think we need like just 10 minutes a day or half an hour just to kind of pretend... I guess that it's not happening, even though it is. So yeah, so if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to start off with my skin. As always, I have washed my hands, just to let you know. I always do that anyway, but I just think it's obviously, I guess, key to mention that now. Um, so I'm going to go in my Dr. Hushka bronzing tint. Pops on the back of my hand. And go in this all over. Just to give my skin a nice kind of glow from underneath. So that's just giving a nice like bronzer to the skin. I mean I kind of feel it does slightly, it doesn't give coverage but I feel like it has evened out or just makes the skin look a bit fresher anyway. Going in with concealer now. I'm only going to use this for concealer. I'm not doing foundation. I'm really trying to savour this. This is the Hint Beauty Concealer as always. Pop this just in the areas where I need it. So kind of more just the centre of the face. Because it will give a slight brightness as well, which is quite nice. But going quite lightly to keep the skin nice and light and fresh. Okay, I'm going to do a very light setting of with the Hunsent Pure Bamboo Powder. And again, I'm just going to set the T-zone for this portion. Because I'm keeping the rest quite light and fresh, like I said. Okay, I'm going to go in my Lily Low Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit and use the sculpting side to bronze up the skin. I don't need to go too heavy because obviously I put that bronzing tint underneath and because I haven't covered my face with the concealer as well it still will add some warmth naturally to the skin so just a little bit to kind of I guess a little bit set the areas that I haven't put the powder okay I'm then going to go in with the illuminator side and obviously I have to give my skin a nice glow Okay, yeah, I'm going to go in my Nip and Fab blusher palette. I'm just going to take this, the mixture of these two, and give my skin a nice kind of rosy tone to it. Right, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly fill in my brows, and I'll be back to do the eyes. So I have gone ahead and prepped my eyes as well, using my primer as always. So the palette I'm going to use is the Lovia um, Matte Mosaic palette. I'm going to play with like the more orangey tones and maybe throw in a bit of a pink just to kind of do, yeah, that kind of look, I think. I feel it's quite spring-like. So, I'm actually just going to start off with Mandarin, this orange shade, on a Luxie 22, no, 205, sorry, Tiva Blending. And just pop this through the crease. I think I do want a bit of shimmer on the lid, so I will either grab like a highlighter or something to add a pop of something. I'm also going to go all over the lid with this colour as well. I'm actually going to take a bit of apricot now, this one just here, on the same brush. And use it to kind of feather out, oh, feather out this shade slightly. Actually, do you know I think I was right? I think I'm going to go in with soft tan instead, which is a kind of more off-white shade. I think that's going to be better to kind of soften this out instead. I 
I'm just going to take actually some of mandarin and just pop it under on my lower lash line as well. Okay, I'm going to take some of light umber, the brown in it, on a fluffy brush and just lightly kind of deepen up this outer portion of the eye. Because I just, I want it to still be quite light, but I just want to add a little bit of definition to this outer portion. So I'm just building up both sides. I'm going to do a little bit on the lower lash line, but again, just mainly on this outer portion. I'll just make sure it gets blended. Okay, as I have it in front of me, I'm going to go with the Nabla um, Venus Sand Highlighter. I use that for all over the lid, I think. I may pick a sh actually don't more of a champagne. I don't know. Let's just pop this down. I don't know, I think that works quite nicely actually. Pop a little bit in this inner corner as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some. And I'm actually going to dampen the brush just to get a bit more of an intense look going. It's just going to really help kind of brighten up that inner portion. And you know what, I'm going to take a little bit along the brow bone as well. I'm just going to go ahead and just load up my lashes with mascara. Okay, so I think I'm going to pair it with like a pinky toned lip. So I'm going to go with a true pink lip liner from Lily Lolo to begin with. And then I'm going to go in with Lily Lolo's vegan lipstick in, in the shade in the All Together. I think we would be pretty one to go with this. Then I am just going to put a little bit of Whisper on top, or whatever I can get out of this tub left anyway. Okay, and that is this look complete. It's like I said, I want another kind of springtime look, and I feel like orange and pink combination is a really pretty spring colour combination. Uh, I want to keep it lighter than the previous one and something more fresher. So I really hope you enjoy this, and like I said, I want to provide some form of mini distraction whilst everything is going on. Like I said, I still think it's very important to be aware of what's going on in the news and with the, in your community and if there's any way you can help people out and also just take all the precautions that you can and just, I think everyone just needs to do the best that they can do given the circumstances. And I know for some people it's gonna be a lot worse after this and for some people they'll be okay. So I just hope you all are okay and stay safe and all of that. But yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.